Jesus. I already nearly. Okay. Mm -hmm. So let's change stuff. Let's begin by introducing a new class to associate with every character on the scene. Right now we have like an character control and enemies has a separate different script. So my idea is let's create one unified script. Mm -hmm. I can let's let's yes. How about we just simply call it character. Yes, we need to move this stuff. <laughs> what can I do this properly? HP bar. Uh -huh. Play dead. Attack. Okay. Okay. So we need to move this because this is a more of a character thing, right? Because you see, we control uh, player character. So we need to move this into separate. Uh, and start. Okay. So what is happening? So let's fix those mistakes. This is done, this is done. Mm -hmm. Okay, what next? Anything else? Okay, there is no broken stuff anymore. What can we do now? Now we need to close this shit down. Uh, attack. Enemy character. Okay. So let's the please fix any compiler error. Do we have any compiler error? Oh, because we renamed the script. Yes, yes. Why the hell this is still not closed? Thank you very much. Jesus, this is disaster. Character. Yes, because we renamed the character script. We need to rename this. So now let's create a new Let's remove the character from here and let's create a new script called player uh, character. I wonder is anyone here in the chat because I don't see anyone right now. Then let's open character. Let's remove this, this and this for now. And let's move this to here. Anything is broken? Yes. Why this? Yes, because we did not inherit from. Now it should move. Character. Uh, Look, speed. Do, do I need to make this stuff public? 
uh, do protection yes i need to make this public but i didn't mean specter what else need to become like this uh, volume speed okay no we don't need to hide it in inspector but we will say public rigid body velocity rigid body velocity yes let's say same and again hide in inspector and animator same public but hiding in specter good so now we have all the stuff here and i believe nothing will change if we play okay we have station speed okay station speed let's move this a little so it will be a little easy to read and same just Need serialized it. No, let it, let's leave it. Not going to hurt. Okay, so if we launch now, nothing will change. Am I right? Yeah. Mm, crazy. Yes. HP bar. Okay, HP bar is not assigned, but fine. I believe this is going to work for us. Uh, okay. Uh, now, similar need to be done about the enemy. The concept is uh, simple. You know, you have both uh, your Unity Chan and the enemy is character on this scene. So, you know. If you want them to uh, have the similar, uh, you know, implementation, if you have the similar, uh, you know, entities on the scene, therefore you better to make them inherited from each other so they like, you know, have the same functionality all the time. So if you, for example, introduce jump to your character, the enemy immediately will have the same capability to jump around. So I guess simplest simplest idea will be just attack the damage. Should I just yeah. character? Let's start removing everything. Yeah, let's just pretty much remove everything, including this and this, I guess. Yeah, let's simply start okay the damage why does my take damage doesn't have forward oh i see i see i see i see so here it will be character and there will be character later on we will figure out how to make you know them understand who is who Direction, push direction, push direction on. Uh, okay, I guess let's return what we had here so we can take out 
plus whole thing here and remove everything else because implementation of attack is a little better in enemy so let's put some multi line comment velocity add force okay attack take damage for now let's keep it like this we will look into pushing bodies later on at the end okay what else so we have max hp enemies jeez let's bring back enemy again date now just simply re delete this and this let's keep the update because our ai is inside the update okay so uh let's do all stuff again a little differently we can have an update over here yes no, after the start void update. and it will do something like animate Let's create generate method animate. Let's even put it like, I guess, late update or something. Animate. Uh, so here, this stuff. We want to move into animate. So like when player interact or like do something or move around or something like this, it's going to be like just inputs so for example player press attack and then a different uh, system will just say okay uh, player is pressing button to attack and the different other system is like okay is the player pressing the attack if he's pressing the attack then play the attack animation and like do something you know so let's do that keep move direction velocity velocity is fine move direction rotate the character we're rotating our character fine but animations should move into a different place and let's say let's introduce in character a bull public hiding inspector Vector public full uh, like light attack. So rather than move direction manager, that's right. So this goes directly into animate. Now uh, here, this goes directly into animate, but light attack goes here. While here you say uh, uh, light attack equals input get mouse button zero okay is there any on in chat <laughs> i feel lonely
Okay. Get mouse button zero. Normalize. That should work, right? Yes, let's check this out. Does not contain celebrate. Okay. Let's just remove this and proceed here. Yes, see, nothing changed. Still can move, and but there is. Is there is interpolation issue? Like so that's that's so bad. Why is she so interpolating so heavily? Uh, let's check. Uh, are you interpolating? Uh, extrapolate? Or is it late update causing this? Let's check it. Let's try to. Animate. Let's just make it into update. I'm not sure. Why is she interpolating so heavily? This is this is really bad. Yeah, that's that's like really bad. Like, oh my god. Interpolate again. Yes, yeah, this is bad. Why is camera so? In what am I missing? Oh God. Hmm. Yeah, let's bring back the animation and let's solve the late update. Wasn't this? as bad before interpolate it should be fine what if we remove the interpolation no it's same it's like very 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 bad like why this is so much problem interpolate it should be fine amazing good start <laughs> and camera was full of speed. Let's say six. No, this is like really, really, really bad interpolation. Why? I don't get it. This is oh God, this is not going well. Just fine previous time. Why this is happening? Animator. No. Interpolate. No. Am I missing something? With power attack of. I know this I shouldn't be. Discrete. Animation. No. Interpolate. Extrapolate. No, it's. It's not going to change anything. Right? No, it's not. Maybe, maybe I should. Uh, yes, maybe because we're moving this stuff and this stuff goes into update. Let's try this. be better let's try to fix this somehow 
Operation speed, time delta time. Let's try this and let's bring back the interpolation. Oh yeah, this is this is way better. Okay, we solved this. Amazing. Twenty minutes into the. What do he need? Thank God. Why is everything going against me today? Okay, Jesus Christ. Okay, this is fine. Now, what else? Oh, uh, we made this, we made this. Um, what we can do now? Now what we want to do is uh, take damage, mm -hmm. attack. Animate, attacking, light attack. Okay. Animate. I think. This is fine. Max current HP. Start. Okay. Now let's look into the enemy so similar as before we want enemy to uh, because <laughs> and character Update animate. Okay, is there anything in update? No, so then we just remove that. And okay, we need agent how it used to be enough mesh agent attack distance. Yeah, um, so let's start doing this. Uh, first of all, void start. We will need this. Now, mesh agent. Agent. Agent equals get component. Enough. Mesh agent. Okay. Then set destination uh, for now oh no yeah this is fine we're even going to make it public transform target later on we will make like an state of AI like is he what he's doing attack distance This is 
This is good. This is good. What else can we do? So now we want to animate our character. So move the direction, direction should be updated because we're moving our character by using a nav mesh agent, right? Enemy. So in this case, what we want to do is uh, get this. You see, we have yes, this thing. So uh, move direction, move direction will be equal to agent velocity. Now our enemy will start running around. Oh, she doesn't have, enemy doesn't have any target. Right. Uh, how can we do that? We have game manager and game manager spawn. So, unity chan transform, spawn enemy, uh, and just for sake of testing. Get component, enemy, target, unity, chan transform. So if we launch game now, it should. No. Why are you not assigned? Animator. Oh, 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 okay. Uh, prefabs enemy. So we have an enemy script. Okay. Target attack. Target. And do, 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 do. Enemy walk attack. Variable animator of enemy has not been assigned. Okay. Um, uh, back here. Animator has not been assigned. Enemy. Destination. Oh, I see. Uh, well, yes, yes, yes. We don't need it here. Right. And light attack equals true. And light attack equals false. Should be better now. Clear. No. Uh, got, but but they stop moving. That's already something. Okay. Now, uh, why is uh, character animator? Get component animator. Isn't it supposed to? Is it like do I need to call base start? Don't tell me I need. Yeah, it should be live. Why it's not? Don't tell me you not inheriting. Uh, uh, I yes, this need to be removed. Just for the test. Start. Stop this part. Start with fusion only once. Okay, am I not? Yes, I'm not doing base invoke. 
Approximate method in time. No top twice. Please start. No. How can I place the screw it? We need. Uh, let's just go into character in it. Let's pull this out. Move this here. Not sure why enemy star doesn't want to play like everyone else, but I guess play character. Uh, player character void start in it base in it. Let's even do that. That it. That's it. It should work now. Yeah. Good. The only thing. <laughs> okay. Well, whatever. Uh, let's make them attack now. How can I make them attack? Light attack, character, enemy. Aren't you already supposed to attack? Why are you not attacking? Maybe because we don't have unsigned reference attack offset. No, I don't care about attack offset. Character 50. Attack offset. This is probably one first, so attack. Let's check the enemy uh, animator. Attacking, yeah, same. Different. <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, that's okay. 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 We have a problem that updated HP bar shouldn't be even here. I think it's only should be no, no. Actually, no. Oh yes. Mm. Let's make it virtual because both of them, no, no, even abstract. Oh, you cannot have abstract. Uh, cannot be private. Okay, public. Whatever. Uh, and let's keep it empty and in player. Let's override. Override. Uh, update HP bar. very specific for the player character and we will do an HP bar on enemies a little different in a different way okay okay so unity chain HP bar RT attack pivot offset why uh, okay let's Move attack pivot offset here. The right, apply all. Yeah. 
Now we have our Unity Chan with attack pivot. She should be attacking fine. Okay, I, I don't like that they're sliding all over the place. Let's try to figure out why they're sliding. Uh, okay. <laughs> Enemies. I believe this is this is why. Right? It's because rigid body. This makes them a little faster. Oh, by the way, why not do something? Enemy, uh, agent speed equals uh, walk. Speed. So we will not be redundant. will be five so for the enemy let's make it like 3.5 station speed let's say okay and magnitude on this thing let's make it even lower like zero. is done now look let's look at this from a different perspective okay yes they still sliding let's try to fix it we need to fix the sliding first then where we can continue okay I think we need to add a physics material for them mm. We need to clean this trash, but we will do it later. Let's physics material mm, character physics material. Being honest, I'm not really comfortable with this thing. It's like I don't really know exactly how this thing works. So let's start doing a good old guessing. Let's just attach this and observe what's going to happen. Why does she not starting running immediately after she... Okay. Has exit time? No, it doesn't. Why is it saying that it has exit time? Shouldn't. Oh, for God's sake. Oh, stupid. Stupid people some sometimes want to to see me okay what do I need t -t -t next still sliding why does you slide why can't you just be normal dynamic friction static friction let's say one one Bounciness friction combine. Why is he? 
Okay, this is weird. Why are they sliding all over the place? I don't want them to slide. Friction, friction maximum. Oh, by the way, maybe we should. Okay, maybe we need to like make a floor. Uh, what? My floor doesn't have like an. Wait, wait. no, here, here. Physics, 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 material, uh, floor, physics, physics, material. Physics. One, one, and this friction. Then floor physics material. Still like what the hell is going on? I don't understand why they sliding. Okay. Friction combine. Any average zero 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 average. Okay, this is how actual game dev looks like. Okay, here's the steel slide, but I believe I believe we're on the right track. But why are they sliding? I don't get it. Enemy. Now let's look here. Friction. So. Drag. Angular drag. Mass. No, no. This is. I think this is fine. I think something. This and this. Still, like, why some like better, but still weird. Yeah, okay. Okay, okay, okay. So we fixed it. Okay. Not perfect, I think. But this is fine. This will do. We need to remove this debug. Okay, okay. Good, good, good. Thanks, Google. Sometimes, well, <laughs> what will I do without you? Okay. Let's clean this. And what's going to be next? <laughs> next will be Let's let's clean the main folder. Physics. 
material animations animations animation controller animation to the side. It's a little obscuring our view. Uh, the scripts. Game manager script. Material. Let's create a new folder called material. Red material. Oh, there is already material. I'm blind. Nothing? Yes. Wait. Material. Jesus. Let's keep this here. I don't know. And for physics, let's move masks into animation. Create. Folder. Masks. Good. Mm, what next? Uh, let me take a sip of my tea. I'm trying to not scratch too much. Okay. Mm, let's create one more for models. And move both of our unity chunks into here. Okay, this is done. What else can we start to do? Uh, let's implement a disappearing enemy. So right now, if enemy is dead, he will not disappear over time that and we have game over instance of what game over yes this is this is wrong okay mm. take damage current hp game over take hp bar how is this working? I have no idea. <laughs> Are we? Yes. We're doing this. Okay. Not play dead. And we just update HP bar. Correct. This enable false. Let's remove this. Okay, I think we can pretty much safely remove this too. I think we don't need this anymore. Oh, we don't have a force yet. Okay, like later we will do this. Let's, let's finish doing this. Okay, dead. This enemy animator has not reflects enemy. No, they don't have that. They just. We have like oh it's play dead okay so they will play dead animation right it's of course a different encapsulation right so this is this need to be dead and unity chan is dead good I think something is wrong. Oh, I know what is wrong. Unity chan. Size of attack area. Let's say 1.5. Max HP and current HP. Why? 
Okay. We need to. Oh yes, this is fine. She's just. There's just too much. Stuff. Okay, you have to fix this. After all, this is correct. Th this was correct. We need to this enable false to disable the control scheme. Enemies has too much HP, so let's select enemy and change amount of HP. Let's say five. Oh, let's even say three. Hello. Hi. <laughs> okay. Okay. Good. Okay. Move this back here. And let's maybe make it a little bit smaller. So it's not obscuring that much space. Another thing which we need to disable when a uh, character is dying is any form of colliders. So let's do that. Oh, get component. Collider. Collider. Set. Uh, enable. False. So any possible colliders will be disabled when you are dead. They should disable them attacking each other. Whoa! Yes, that's 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 not the best solution because we will fall through the floor. Sure. <laughs> okay. Uh, how can we solve this? Okay, let's not overstretch. Let's not dwell on the, the same issue for far too long. I will do research later on and we will make it later. Right now, let's continue doing something. Okay. Mm. So. We want our characters to understand who is who. Uh, so let's create go to the here. And say realize field. Do I really need to realize field on a public values? I don't think so. Let's test this. Twenty enemy. I remember there was a reason why I put a serialized field for Okay. What if I change it to like five? Will you stay the same or will you break? Okay, maybe I'm, maybe I'm stupid. Okay, push power, size of attack. I think push power we can move later on, but okay, rotation speed, walk speed, move direction. No, no, hiding inspector. Keep the hiding inspector. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Good. What next? Uh, uh, let's. I wonder. Can I attack more? Can I get a, a? Yes. Yes. There is a mistake. 
we need to fix. Right now we can hit ourselves. Physic overlap. Physics. Ignore collision. Uh, get component collider. Collider, collider. Bonnet collider. Something like that. Can I, can I like ignore myself? I'm not sure. No, this is. I still can damage myself. Uh, how can I fix this? Physics. Uh, physics. Ignore layer collision. Get collision. Get ignore collision. Get ignore layer. Gravity. Ignore collision. want to like simplest solution will be simply just say okay if like, remove okay just if, like find with yourself like for example if if hits i equals to game object then like continue no? but this is like uh, this doesn't doesn't sounds right for me This is why you don't do it live. Then no, it's just if it's whatever. Let's let's move this. If, if there will be a better idea, transform equals transform uh, continue. So if you hit yourself to the next step okay let's restart I forget to test it at the start yeah now I am ignoring myself and I believe if if I die I need to tell f bec we keep attacking because um, she were attacking w while she was dying. So we will need to create a new method. Hmm. 
Let's call this method uh, stop private terminal public void stop animations animation animator set load move speed zero uh, f animator set bool attacking false this should work mm, okay if we launch now It should work fine. So if let me hold the attack button, so I'm holding the attack button, I'm dead, and I'm still attacking. Of course, of course, of course, because attacking. Should I just force her to go? Why keep attacking if I'm saying attacking false? Why? Okay, let's test it again. Die, please. Okay, now, yes, now you cannot attack you laying down but if you try to do let's keep holding the button oh yeah I'm 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 really 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 smart I forget to character stop animations point HP done Good. Okay. Yes. Good, 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 good. <sighs> okay. What else? I think this we need to finish one more thing. Uh, we need to make sure that enemies cannot attack each other. So we have to do that. Uh, character need to have something like called like allegiance. Allegiance. And let's say. Num public num allegiance. Is this a correct writing of this word or am I my special again? I think I wrote it wrong. Allegiance. Allegiance. Now it's now it's correct. Okay, and actually let's do it very simply. We're not going to have like um, specific. For example, you can say forces of of good or forces of evil, uh, forces of uh, uh, good guys, but not on. Um, our side forces of uh, mm, someone else and etc 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 and it's it's fine but there is a small problem with this so for example if you have like 
example, like orcs, humans, stuff like this. You can have a certain issue when, for example, you want uh, someone, for example, in one mission, humans and orcs are enemies. Orcs, right? They're enemies. Uh, but, uh, and let's say, uh, and then, for example, human and orcs, uh, you know, unite and fight undead. This is fine. You can make it like, for example, human and orcs is just like, you know, you have some kind of table where you check who is who, who is ally and who is not. But in my opinion, much easier way is just create something like uh, red, green, blue, and I don't know, red, green, blue, who else? Yellow. <laughs> something like this. Uh, so you have like multiple forces just completely completely disconnected from like your story or setting or whatever and for example let's say green right now is human humans fighting like red forces of orcs and the undead is like let's uh, let's say blue okay so let's say <coughs> mid mid battle mid to battle orcs decide to switch side the only thing what you need to do is just cycle through all the characters and say oh now orcs this orcs is green allegiance that's it so orcs already here of course this is more for action kind of uh, game so if you're making like an strategy game it should be done you know more in depth but i think this is a much better solution than having like how i saw say like orcs and stuff like specifically for your setting names for specifically your setting allegiance it's funny how i probably still talk to myself yes there is exactly one viewer and this is me Okay, so by default, let's say allegiance is blue. So there. Now let's say red. There will be more enemies than allies, right? Player character, let's say by default, will be allegiance. Sorry. Allegiance. Jesus. Uh, Legends. Oh, I'm, I do not make it public. Of course. Public. Allegiance. Allegiance equals uh, player character. Let's say green. Because green is a good color. Uh, okay. What next? What, 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 what next? Now, now we need to when we attack overlap sphere right if it's one hmm. I actually don't like this because we will have to do get component and imagine if you have like hundred of enemies actually no this this can this can work this can work uh, this is a rare instance where i think we can use this green red blue Hello. Uh, okay. Good, good, good. Uh, then on start, on init, based on your allegiance, 
you specify what type it will be legacy this will be wait why do i make it in update oh my god okay here clean good then here form tag uh, set can, can it be like is there like set tag no there's just tag equals uh okay switch uh allusion oh yes set allusion Jesus Christ, this word is so hard. Why I choose this word? Allegi and C. Okay. Set Allegi and C. Yes, let's pass its own allegiance. I know this is going to be a little redundant, but if let's oh yes, how about we do that? None, none. Okay. No, 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 no. Yes. Everything is fine. Don't need it here. Allegiance equals just do that. Switch allegiance, and now we need add missing cases. Transform tag equals red horse red. just just red that need green and uh, blue okay okay uh what next Red, green, blue. Okay. Then maybe when you attack. Okay. Move character. Uh, attack, 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 attack. Uh, character. When you attack, you want to check if hits zero. Per attack, this game object attack uh, and uh, transform tag equals true, then continue. Okay, then inside this thing, instead instead of this. We will set set. Let me guess. I forget to make it public. Yes, doesn't matter. Public set allegiance. Allegiance. Uh, green. 
this frame off and enemy will be allegiance red. Start. Now on start our characters will set their side and uh, assign you know what kind of tag they use. I wonder is so now they shouldn't hit each other, I believe. And just destroy me like it's okay mm. good 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 what next Next, 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 next. Um, <laughs> I think let's make an item pick up pick upable item, and after that I will. I think I will be done for tonight. up yes pick up Done. similar idea mm. you have pick up item as a base class okay uh, I think we can even be very more much more specific with pick up item because uh, what I think we want to have is that like you attach pickup item and it will immediately, you know, add everything what it need to, to have. For that, uh, let's create an empty given object on this thing. And let's say it's a health potion. So what you want to do is have require component. How can I use require component? I don't remember. Type off, I believe, and uh, sphere collider. Right? And what else do we need? Nothing, I guess. Void init. public on void in it get uh, here collider will be equals get component sphere collider do we need s wait do we actually need a need on this thing I don't no 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 we don't need a need on this thing just keep it like this this is fine So now what we want to create is C sharp potion. Health potion. Health potion. And if we enter the health potion, let's remove this and inherit from pickup item. Right? Okay. So I believe now if we attach this health potion script to our thing, it will immediately attach the sphere collider. Then let's set up that it's a trigger, and let's say radio is just a little, a little bigger. Okay, let's make it hover, and let's add an uh, some kind of thing. Let's say capsule. Yeah, let's say capsule. Okay much smaller than this let's say 25 025 025 rotation eh, like this okay 
let's make material we have red material but let, let's make it like this good 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 uh and now let's disable capsule collide remove capsule collide we don't need that then just move it here prefab and in health potion Uh, public load uh, uh, restore HP amount good and uh, I think this on trigger and okay other get component enter yeah other this component layer character if other get component layer character let's get it. layer character player character boom uh, player character not equals one player player character dot heal and restore HP amount but there is a catch instead if we right now just press quick action and refactor the thing we have a problem uh, it will create inside player character. So rather than no, let's let's do let's do this. Go here. Sometimes it's it needs second clicking. Why I don't know. Go to definition. Copy X. Uh, go to character. And let's implement heal here. Boom. Current current HP plus equals restore HP amount if current current HP uh, more than current yes current HP equals current HP more than max HP uh, max HP otherwise current HP current HP you know let's even make it shorter car HP plus this no, no that's fine that's fine and then update HP bar. So mm, this is good. What the hell did I do? <laughs> oh yeah, another thing health potion. In that case, destroy this. Uh, game object yes and restore HP amount uh, let's say like 5 uh, 10 why do you decrease my HP I don't get it big up go to definition oh get hurt Let's see. oh my god they are beating me up and we restore HP good 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 ah <laughs> good 
uh, now how about uh, if for example for example if you don't like how you just need to be an approximation you can make this smaller and look at this boom you're picking up it in a more smaller area okay <sighs> what next what next what next mm. this stuff is done let's remove enemy bodies from this scene i guess Let's do something differently. Dead. Because different characters, like player character and enemy, should have a different process of dying. So, uh, public virtual dead. Why are you complaining? Does not exist current. What? Oh, I'm, I'm blind, play dead. Okay, so what next are we going to do is let's go to uh, enemy. Void. No, no. override, dead. First of all, we keep base dead because we want to play the animation of being dead. Then... What else can we do? If it's enemy, he should, yeah. Uh, let's do it. I enable, right? Let me unity. I don't. I don't remember this. Wait for a second. I don't. I don't memorize this stuff. I'm sorry. I'm not. I'm not that good. I not enumerable. I enumerator. Yes. Now yield. Yield. Return new wait for say five seconds F -F. and uh, oh, then destroy uh, game object. <laughs> Jesus, game object good, uh, but 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 but. Uh, we will add something else over here. Uh, game manager uh, instance. Uh, mm, roll boot. Roll drop. Yeah, I guess it's transform position. Let's do this before we destroy the object though. Roll drop.
Okay. And let's say we have a list. First of all, serialized field. Uh, chance float chance of drop. Chance of drop. So uh, now if random value random unity engine random value больше more than or less than less than chance of drop uh, wait object void spawn vector 3 vector 3 position spawn drop and now uh, okay spawn drop position and inside spawn drop we will use serialize field game object possible drops mm -hmm. then here just simply select if if possible drops equals null uh, debug uh, uh, log warning no possible possible drops dot count possible drops did it possible drops dot count more than equal zero Drops and both of them return. So it will not try to spawn anything. Then uh, just simply integer id uh, unity engine random uh, random range from zero to possible drops uh, count if uh, no no instantiate possible drops id position turn on identity I believe this is going to be fine so now let's look at this thing actually enemy let's make it one second so to simplify the process okay uh, first of all we need to go into game manager possible drops one potion health potion chance of drop let's say zero five 
so each second enemy let's say enemy count 20 respawn timer let's see three seconds chance for drop hit 50 percent good let's try this And in five seconds, I think something is not working. I believe I forget to start coroutine. Enemy, enemy, dispose. Yes, I forget to start coroutine. Start coroutine, dispose. Do I need to like do that? Yes. Good. Start coroutine. why it's like she immediately disappear oh. yeah you see now there is like an hp potion but i i, I why, why it's like oh because i say five one second so if it's five second now let's Five second, yeah. You see, there is an potion. Okay, uh, let's fix some more stuff. Uh, we want to make our potion like I think with a pivot. So let's move it to the ground. Right here, it's like in the ground, right? But let's move this finger up. And overwrite at line. Jesus Christ. This one is dead. This one, let's make sure dead too. See? Now it spawns on top. And we can eat. See? Yeah, I know this timer is obscuring the vision but you can see we're stirring the hp okay this is working more or less nice so four of them dead i'm going to die this is slowly taking a shape okay. wait, wait, wait. why are you not disappearing this is strange you're trying to access it okay we have like an issue right here game manager uh, position this would drop position. Huh. oh i know i know i know what, what is going on <laughs> we yes yes i see we need to do that. Okay, good, good, good. So, for today, I think I will be done. I'm hungry and I need to take a break. Uh, so, we may we separated two uh, our enemies and uh, allies into two different scripts, but we make them same character. So now if you want to have like, you know, more independent uh, stuff, you go into like enemy and character script. So for, sorry, enemy and player character script. But if you want to, for example, implement a very specific stuff for enemy or a player character, you go into their scripts. Uh, we implemented like allegiance. We uh, moved everything to this uh, new system with two different classes. And we implemented uh, potions. So next time we will continue improving this game. So see you next time. Bye bye.